There you are. Welcome back. Took you long enough. <laughs> Miss me? Everything's in place, and the states are ready. Synthesizing data. Fire it up. Processing. History downloaded. In three, two, one. In frigid Indianapolis, two southern neighbors battle for the ultimate prize in college football, a rivalry that goes back a century and a quarter. Welcome to the College Football Playoff National Championship game presented by AT&T, a collision of SEC rivals, Alabama and Georgia. They have divided the number one ranking all season long. Each of them won their semifinal games by more than three touchdowns. Alabama has beaten their neighbors seven straight times. The last four have been Nick Saban over Kirby Smart, beginning with the championship game in Atlanta. The second and 26 touchdown pass from Tunga Valoa to Devontae Smith. The next year in the SEC championship game, same building. Jalen Hurts off the bench breaks Georgia Hearts. Last year in the regular season, Mac Jones, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith in a blizzard of big plays came from behind again. And the tie did it again in Atlanta from 10 down. Bryce Young against Tedson Bennett. And that is the backdrop. 37 nights later, Smart and his former boss, Saban, are reunited with the ultimate prize right there for the taking. And welcome, Chris Fowler, Kirk Herbstreet. Thrilled to be able to bring you the national championship game. It's the dynasty, Bama going for seven and 13 years. Think about that. That's crazy. Versus the drought. Georgia saying, could we just have one after four decades? <laughs> They've been the two best all year long. It has been the two best teams all year. And, you know, I think Georgia was a step above when those two teams got together in Atlanta and Alabama beats them. And now we get the rematch to decide it all. Re-energized, refocused. No doubt about that. Being around these two teams, I don't know if there is an edge emotionally after the way they played in Atlanta where it was clear Bama had the edge being that underdog. Georgia bringing out some big people. Sawyer, Jordan Davis for the coin toss. It's an ACC crew in charge of this championship game, and Dwayne Haight is the referee. Georgia, Alabama, congratulations on your great seasons. And welcome to the 2022 College Football Playoff National Championship. My name is Dwayne Haight, and this is Johnny Fort of the ACC. We're honored to be here today. Georgia, you've been designated to call today's coin toss. We have a special coin today. On one side is the College Football Playoff logo. That side will be heads. And on the other side is Lucas Oil Stadium. That side will be tails. Georgia, heads or tails, what is your selection? Tails is called. It is Tails. Georgia, you've won the contest. 
Georgia has won the coin toss and has elected to defer their option to the second half. Alabama, you want to receive? Which way would you like to kick? It's turned. Which back's to here? Your back's to here? So the dogs Just trust the their defense, hand. and they'll put the football in the hands of Bryce Young. Great to have Holly Rowe and Molly McGrath on the sidelines. Holly's on the Bama side with Nick Saban. It's a high kick, and Earl will wave for a fair catch. Only third down. Since midseason, Bama's offense has been the number one third down offense in Power Five. Bulldogs do bring some pressure. The ball is caught by Slade Bolden, who's got a first down, forced out of bounds on the far sideline. Win for Bama as far as the matchup, and Bryce Young, with the time, makes an accurate throw. Bolden a habit of making these catches that earned first downs at it three times in Atlanta. Young, and they get him to the ground finally. Big Jordan Davis, 350 pounds. The ball comes out. It's Dean running for the end zone. And they signal a touchdown. Didn't get blown dead. Not just a sack, but the big man in the middle forces the takeaway if it stands. Yeah, I think Bryce Young tried to throw the ball to get rid of it. Shocking that the play stayed alive. But you're right, relentless effort from Jordan Davis to come up with this sack. They'll review it, of course. When he is fresh, he is incredibly quick. Here's the verdict. After further review, the quarterback's hand was moving forward for an incomplete pass. Second down. After all that drama. Georgia fans still unhappy with the reversal. On the edge, Jamison Williams gets a couple of blocks and tries to hurdle. A defender he couldn't get over Darian Kendrick. Wide receiver skills. He had him matched up with seen a safety. Bama's got a really consistent kicker in this couple of years. Will Riker 18 to 23 on the season, and he hammers it right through. So Georgia, which really doesn't give up first quarter touchdowns, stiffens in the red zone. 14 play drive, tied on top. Dogs offense out next. What can they get from the running game? Zamir White, call him Zeus in the backfield. They fake it to him. Bennett pressured on the rollout, and he's going to be sacked immediately. Christian Harris got there, and it's a big loss. He's the, he's the kind of the liaison between the sideline and the field. Bennett escapes. As open field just dropped the ball. It bounced right back to him. But a jittery Bennett, very lucky not to lose the ball there. In possession to four different receivers. And this is Jamison Williams. Tracked down behind the line of scrimmage by William Poole and Tyndall. Make plays outside. Second and 11 across the middle. It's Williams making the catch. And the man who victimized the dogs with two long touchdowns in Atlanta makes a first down the field but to that point that makes this one important third yeah. and three Williams in motion backpedaling young gets it to Bolden but he's not gonna get there Lewis seen came flying in dropped him for a loss that trend has to change for Georgia Philip Bryan calling 14 pass plays, Kirk, over the first 19. Similar to the game plan of the first meeting. Very different from what yeah. they did against Cincinnati. And a lot right early here. A lot of quick stuff to the outside. Three receivers stacked to the right. And it's Sanders running back to the boundary and hit hard. Slammed down by Quay Walker and seen. Throws to be able to get back to the run game. Bennett took a look for Bowers, fires it across the middle, and instead it's another tight end. Men they call Big O, Darnell Washington, and it's the first first down for Georgia. Three tight ends in the ball game now. And they fake it to Bowers. Here's a downfield shot. George Pickens, a diving catch as the elite receiver has waited a long time to make a play like that in the big game. Couldn't get free there, and so Bennett faces a third and nine. Last time, ball out quickly. Barton on a slant. Makes a man miss and spins down. First and goal, Georgia. To Pickens, they take it away and force the field goal. 
And they call Pod, Jack Pod Lesney, reliable kicker. 20 of 25 this year. This from 24 yards right down the middle. So the dogs drive it 87 yards. It's almost six minutes. Even an ending early second quarter. And so far. And much needed rest, Kirk. That long drive give him a chance to recover. Trying to get after Young, who launches to Williams, who's wide open down the field. How you wonder. He's to the Georgia 35. The main target staying down, though, and gripping his knee. Oh, my goodness. But really good news. Reichardt was good earlier from 37. And hammers this one through from 45. So that big pitch and catch to Williams. Sets up the field goal. Bama reclaims the lead. 6-3. 11-12 to play before halftime. Give them anything. Chris. Landing, of course, off to Oregon, which will open against Georgia next season. How about that dynamic? But a big job to do in the meantime. Young across the middle. It's caught. And Latu running down the field. Can they track the tight end down? They try to punch the ball free. They can't. He's inside the 10. Up, up. Latu says, I can make plays. He's been a red zone weapon. This time he gets him into the red zone on second and goal. Bryce across the middle. And it's incomplete. Tried to find Latu again. Dean was in close coverage. And they want to go back to him again. It's matched up with the Kobe Dean all the way over here. He's going to come across. You'll see 17 have to get through some traffic. His own defender. Gets in his way and actually almost impacted the play. It's like Channing Tindall, who has had his eyes in the backfield, was kind of frozen. And Nicobe Dean had to run through him and avoid it. Yeah, and the ball almost bounced into Brooks' hands on the carom. Third and goal. Young on the move. Backpedaling. And they've got him back at the 20. Channing Tyndall, a tremendous series. I do in the SEC championship game. Sack Bryce Young. Reichard providing all the Alabama points so far. Three for three, a 55 yard drive as the dogs stiffen in the red zone. Will Anderson sisters. A lot going on in the household tonight there. <laughs> a lot going on here for Will Anderson Jr. Across the middle, it's McIntosh in space, knocked down, but not before he gets a first down near midfield. Pressure on second 10. Bennett in heavy traffic. The ball is juggled and caught and driven out there as Bowers. That's three guys that it takes to bring down the true freshman tight end. Down late in the game in Atlanta. Dogs need four and third. Slant. Mitchell, he's got the first down, lost the ball. Is he ruled down? Yes. No fumble. First down, Georgia inside the 35. Bootleg wants to take a shot downfield and slammed to the ground. That was Dallas Turner, that other talented young inside linebacker. I think he lowered his head, but really aggressive, and to me, a great play by Toto, who was blitzing and then reverted back to help out on that play. But Lesney, this is the longest field goal attempt of the season, but within his range in his career, and that's a beauty. Both teams just two of seven on third down. That's Holden who motioned and then is now back off the line of scrimmage. Young across the middle, catch made. Jai Hall works his way free, and the freshman steps up in the absence of Williams and makes a big play. But pressuring him, and look what they've averaged going back to Kirby Smart's comment. Second down, they've been averaging 11 yards, third down, nine yards. It's a first down run, and Zamir White muscles for 10. That's what Dogs fans are hoping to see a lot more of tonight. My guess is Kirby Smart, after he he left that interview with Molly. He went in there and went right to the offensive room and just challenged that offensive line's manhood. If we're going to win a national championship, you collectively have got to start being more physical, giving us a chance. 
You wonder if Saban did the same thing to his offensive line. They haven't created any creases in the running game either. And White slips out of a tackle. Cuts through a crease and barrels into Alabama territory. There goes Zeus. Penalty makes it second and 19. Yep. Way too much of this tonight for Georgia. Then an underneath to Cook. Dangerous with the football in his hands. Makes a cut and gets back inside the 45. Make it a more reasonable third down. Five, somebody is going to have to step up here. No doubt, Holly. We've seen a couple guys make plays. The passing game has actually been clicking. They just haven't found the end zone. Young launches downfield to Billingsley, and it's picked off by Smith. The safety was lurking back there. The tight end was well covered, and the dogs with tonight's first takeaway. Boy, right on cue, talking about somebody's going to have to make a play, try to relate to and, and come to an understanding with this new group that he's working with. Now can Bennett cash in? The pass is tipped at the line. And it was Anderson again <laughs> getting the long arm up. You're just laughing. He just I continues know, to dominate. I, I just, I just like to sit back and watch him play. He does, he does everything. Defense. I agree. On Bama's side, that might be because their big play guy is out of there. Robinson finally making a play, breaking tackles, showing some determination, and that gets a roar from the Bama fans who have waited all night to see a run like that. B Rob has improved Bama's field position. He's got it again. Talking about a guy that made his first start at Bama Kirk in his 53rd game. Well pitched to Holden. Look, we don't know the diagnosis. Unlikely to get it tonight, but it's certainly a promising sign that Jameson Williams is able to walk like that. Not yeah. Crutches allowed to be on his feet. J.C. Latham stepping in to his position. Young to Robinson again. They're beginning to involve the back as a receiver. Good to get Robinson going inside the 40. First but as much as Georgia blitzes the linebackers, a great answer to that is to just get it outside as quick as you can, especially on third and short. We saw Georgia defense getting tired. Robinson again hit low and knocked down by Nolan Smith. And Nolan Smith doing a really good job off the edge, who kind of wrong-armed it and just could not bring it in. The reliable right card tries to make it four for four tonight, but it's blocked. The dogs are very good at blocking field goals. That's the third this season, and the lead is still three. It's a big Devontae Wyatt. Cook makes a cut. He's got blazing speed. James Cook in a foot race. Can the tie track him down? They finally get him inside the 15. Battles save the touchdown, but the dogs instantly threaten. He's on that side. <laughs> it's every play. By the way, Bama's previous long run allowed this year, 37. So Cook went 30 yards beyond that. It's McIntosh who picks his way. Did they grab his face mask? Yes. Penalty flag down as he's knocked down right near the marker at the three. To right guard. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Number 48. Half the distance to the goal from the end of the run. First down. On the left side. And Zeus White muscles in the first touchdown of this championship game. And Georgia claims its first lead. Prospect on McShay's board for the draft. Suddenly Bama inside the 35. Young launching downfield. Catch is made by Hall. Dropped one earlier. No mistake that time. He beat Chris Smith. They brought a safety blitz off the edge. Created one on one. It's right here. Go ahead, touchdown. You pin him back. Instead, he sends out Reinhardt from 21. And he does not get through. So the fourth field goal from Reinhardt in five attempts. Cook. Quickness and catching the ball into the backfield. Cooks in there now. 
It's a fake play. This is McConkey coming around there. There's a little bit of trickery, but Christian Harris again disrupted the play, and it's a loss. On gain, makes it third and eight. Here comes the pressure. Bennett immediately on the run. He'll be chased down. Tries to make a desperation heave. Harris had him in the grass. That ball nowhere near back to the line of scrimmage. Well, no, I think he was calling that. I think, I don't know if that ball came out of his hand before his arm came forward, but the referee was right there. Discussing whether it perhaps was a fumble. He threw, a, he, he, 15. he threw the beam back down. Rolling on the field is a fumble yeah. recovered by the defense. First down, Come on. Alabama. The review. Forward. The ruling on the field stands. Alabama football at the 16 yard line. Wow. So it's ruled a fumble, and although he didn't think it was going to be a fumble recovery, Brian Branch, <laughs> right. by yeah. an inch, keeps the toe in the field as he nonchalantly grabs the football. Play fake. Ball batted down at the line. And it was seen who came off the edge. It'll be third and goal. Pressure. Young. Touchdown! On the run, he found Latou. Tides first touchdown, and Alabama reclaims the lead with 10 14 to play. So they're four for four on two point conversions this season. Funky look, diamond formation to the left. One on one to the top. Young on the run, Smith trying to chase him down, Tyndall's there too, but the speed of Nolan Smith spoils the play, and the lead is still five. People want to talk about how are two SEC teams in a national championship. It's the speed in the front, the defensive line, and the linebackers with two open because of that nice push off. The safety on Smith, the officials didn't call it. Who can make a play? It was Pickens earlier with the long catch. Cook with the electric run. And now on first down, Bennett was a long throw. And it's Burton who makes the play. McKinstry pushes him out. First down across the 40. Wow, good route on first and 10. They've been running. They've been running. They've been running. Nice big cushion play action. The drive builds some confidence. 18 yards. Bennett on the move. Looking downfield, launches and absolutely tackled on the play was Burton. Kyrie Jackson was beaten cold and perhaps saved the touchdown. Pass interference, defense, number well, six. It, it was a matter of time with his inexperience that they would give him that stutter and go, that double move. Stepping in because Jess Chobe and Jalen Armour Davis, their two best corners out injured. Bennett looking to throw again, finds McIntosh, who bobbles it, holds on, barely at the marker in front of Branch. He made it adventurous. But Todd Malkin deciding, all right, nine minutes to go, nine and a half, ten minutes to go, we're going to come out. We're going to give the ball to Stetson Bennett. What a great concentration by McIntosh against Branch to hold on to that, and he gets the first down. Yet gotten involved in this half. Keep in mind the tight end is their top receiver. Bennett hammered, pressured, and knocked down from behind. It was Dallas Turner for the second time tonight. About 6'4, 245 pounds, and he pressures a quarterback with that same relentless approach. And that's too much speed and power for a pretty good blocking tight end, Fitzpatrick. Now another flag. Bennett launching. Mitchell. Stetson Bennett, 40-yard touchdown to finish it. Well, he had a free play. Cook is the back. Bowers to the right. They hand it to Cook. They try to run it in around the edge, and that doesn't work against the Tide. No chance. It was Dallas Turner again. And now without Jamison Williams, the job is harder. 
Robinson. They're all over number four. They slam him down. Wyatt got there, and then big Jordan Davis slammed him down. Yeah. Dogs don't blitz. Young has time. Off the hands of Slade Bolden, who is covered tightly by William Poole. And the Dogs defense gets a stop. Brock Bowers has been contained all night. The tight end with 52 catches coming in has made three. Not an impact play yet. White with a power run out near midfield. And the Dogs move the sticks. This defense. White again, hammers for another first down inside the Bama 40. What a statement. Cook in now on first down. Play action. Bennett launches and it's incomplete. Overthrown for Pickens against McKinstry and there's a flag down. Pickens wasn't going to get anywhere near the football. Well, McKin the reason he was that McKinstry cut him off. Pass interference. Defense, number one. 15-yard penalty, first down. Bill, I, I don't know how you saw that to me. McKinstry didn't allow Pickens to get around him. Jackson, and there's one against McKinstry. Back to White, who patiently navigates his way and continues to drive his legs and gets pushed by the pile. And the dogs are barking. Their fans enjoyed that, that mosh pit. Chris, I, I just can't tell you. I mean, that, that's not just a good run. That's a group effort. Again, I go back to the humiliation, the release of that humiliation. It's a good job of setting this up. White's running hard, but watch as he gets held up. Watch the linemen get off the ground. Look at them get up. They want to be a part of that. Woo! Almost late there by Schaefer. That could have cost him, but just the... The intent and the purpose to try to show as a group Careful, they want to help. A belly flop on top of the pile. Up short. I don't like this spot at all. It's third and one. They're gonna throw for it. Bowers has got it. He's gonna block it. Touchdown, Georgia. And there is a flag down though. Hold on. There's a flag near the line of scrimmage. Bennett says it's on Bama. I think they hit him. I think they hit Stetson Bennett after he released the football. Jordan Battle on a blitz came through and hit Stetson Bennett in the face. Against Clemson. Foul, rough in the passer, number nine, defense. The result of the play is a touchdown. That 15 yard penalty will be carried over to the ensuing Scored a late touchdown and a losing cause. Took him a long time, Kirk, tonight to get involved, but that is a massive play. In practice, but practice is at this stage. Brooks. Knocked down. Here comes a third down play. And that's what we've been talking about. Just had a feeling that in an even matchup, maybe either Bennett or Bryce Young were going to be asked to come up with something they haven't been able to really execute. Young went, of course, that drive against Auburn. Yeah, of that's course. The, yeah, that was a pressure drive. I, I think that was his highest been moment. The difference yeah. is he doesn't have Mechie. In that drive, he didn't have Jamison Williams, but now he doesn't have either one. Third and four. Georgia brings pressure. Young back pedals and delivers a strike across the middle to Robinson. First down to the 43. Moving to 14. Robinson right into the big arms of Devontae Wyatt. No gain. Hey, man. I know Jordan Davis gets a lot of attention. He should. Trayvon Walker gets a lot of attention. Even Jalen Carter. All these guys are going to be superstars in the NFL, and so is Devontae Wyatt. Guy that lost 40 pounds coming into this year runs a 4-8 as a defensive lineman, and tonight has been making a lot of plays. They've worked in their stamina, worked in their legs to be ready for late game situations. Let's see if that pays off. Bama going to run their 75th play, big edge in that department. Young has a lot of time now. Escapes on the run, delivers. It's Latu, and the tight end has a first down inside the Georgia 45. Stopped by Walker. For the Jamison Williams, that's a different deal for Bama. Biggest third down in Bryce Young's career. He need 10. Play clock at four. From the pocket, launching downfield. 
Field underthrown and intercepted. Kaylee Ringo has an escort down the sidelines. All the way to the end zone. And Georgia is going to conquer the Crimson Tide. The sweet irony not lost on the Georgia faithful. It was a pick six that doomed them in round one in Atlanta. And now a pick six has sealed it. And Keely Ringo, who plays for his mom, has been battling breast cancer in recent years. She works hard to attend the games of her son. She was there at the SEC championship game. And look at the tears. Oh, the man. Yeah, let's just take that in right there. Little more than seven minutes. Young checks it down to Robinson. He's not going to escape Quay Walker. Wow. All this talk about Alabama, what they call them, is they become the boogeyman to you. I mean, I felt bad Kirby and his players answering some of the questions that they got. Is it mental? Can you get over the edge? What is it? It's called Alabama beats everybody. They're really good about going up against his his former mentor, his coach. Came so close to beating him first couple times as a head coach going up against him. Had the lead and just couldn't hold on. Last year they, they get pulled. They get, Bama pulls away. This year the humiliation at the SEC championship. And 37 days later they get revenge. Brooks made that catch, and, and, and Kirby is quickly back to coaching again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Still 43 seconds. Bama has two timeouts. Young to Brooks again. They work the sidelines, and they'll move the sticks into Georgia territory. It took just four seconds. Hadn't got the brass ring until now in those four decades. There are people crying, man. I mean, it's it's just, it's a, it's a huge deal. This is... 41 years. I mean, wow. Young oh. sacked. That's fitting. Robert Beal Jr. got him. I don't know. The way that second half started to go for Georgia, you just wonder if it would have really made that much of a difference. Matu makes the catch. Pinballs around some people and is finally knocked down at the 50. Despite all that, they did have the lead. And then it was Georgia storming back for those. 20 fourth quarter points. Three touchdowns in about seven minutes. Bennett responding after the fumble with a tremendous throw and catch. And then the pick six to ah. seal it. And one more play for the Georgia defense. Georgia on the mountaintop. Demons be gone and the drought is over. National champions at long last. So often it's been Saban consoling smart. Hey, you can Mutual respect is obvious. You can hear him say you kicked our butt there in the fourth quarter. But I honestly. Look at this oh, moment. The ex oh, walk on on the five star Heisman Trophy winner. There's also mutual respect there. And we've talked so much about Stetson Bennett. There's a lot of heroes on the Georgia side. But you know Bennett has his story has kind of a southern gothic tone to it. <laughs> And there is the Kobe Dean. Let's go to Molly. Your freshman Keely Ringo with the pick six to seal the game. What was your reaction to that play? <laughs> Keely Ringo has been run the gamut this year. The kid has gotten so much better. I love the kid. I love his family. What a big play and a big moment. How about this university? How about these fans? This is a special moment for the University of Georgia. Special moment for this team. You said before the game your team had a hunger to them. How did you see that play out on the field? I saw it at halftime. You know, there were people that said we weren't conditioned enough. 
and it pissed a lot of people off on our sideline, and they went to work. And before we came today, we burned the boats, and we came a-fighting. And I'm proud of these men. You worked under Nick Saban for 11 seasons. You lost this game against Alabama in 2017. How much sweeter does that make this win? Well, that one will be with me for a long time, but this one will be with me for much longer. I'm proud of the University of Georgia, the support we get there. A lot of credit to Alabama, Coach Saban. They had a lot of injuries. You know, they lost Jameson Williams in a tough situation, but our kids kept fighting and never doubted. After 41 years, the University of Georgia are national champions. How does that sound to you? I hope it doesn't take that long again. Go dogs.